corporate America. Joining us this morning, Bill George, the former chairman and CEO of Medtronic, also a professor at Harvard Business School, joins us. Bill, always good to talk to you. Big morning. Good morning. Uh, if I am an employer of a company with 48, 49 employees, how am I feeling today? Well, you're going to have to provide them health care or find another way out. I do worry about the competitive side of this, but it's the law of the land. We've got to figure out how to make our health care system work. I believe in access for 30 million people. I don't believe in a $1 trillion unfunded mandate. That's what we have. So we're going to have to find a way or we're going to bankrupt Medicare and it's going to make the U.S. companies a lot less competitive, not just small companies, but large companies. So the real issue in health care is lifestyle. Over half of the cost of health care comes from lifestyle. And we've got to get on top of that issue. And it's going to require the health care organizations to do some very innovative things. So I think we need to move beyond politics and get on with trying to make the health care system work and make it cost competitive. Right now, we just have a very expensive disease care system, and Americans' health is getting worse, not better. Uh, let's say you're CEO of a Fortune 500 company, and you know that very well, actually, Bill. Um, right. And it's going to cost you more per year to, to comply with this new legislation. Does that mean, necessarily, that you will probably not hire as many people? I'm just trying to get a handle on what the actual impact is on hiring and employment. Look, I... I I may not hire as many people, but I'm going to get on with a major fitness and wellness program, my people. I'm going to pay them for a body mass index and ensure that they have good nutrition, good diets, good exercise, and we're going to have a major program inside our company. I know many employers are moving in this direction, and the good one good thing about this bill, the accountable care organization, where we get away from fee for service and get to uh, pay for outcomes, and I'm going to negotiate with the insurance companies to get a pay for outcomes program. If I can't do it with them, I'll go to the hospitals, because we're going to have to get there. We can't just continue to pay for more Medtronic stents or pay for more open heart surgeries. We have to get people before they get sick, and that's the only way the nation's going to get healthy. That's how Germany and Switzerland have done it. That's what we've got to do. Bill, can I just pick up on the point you made about competitiveness? Of course, the rest of the Western democracies and developed nations already have universal health care. When you say you're worried about competitiveness, are you suggesting that we look more to life as the Chinese are than we do actually to the European neighbors? Uh, I want every employee of Medtronic or any company that I serve on the board of to have health care. But I want to ensure they're healthy because I want them fully present on the job. So it's not a question of whether I have it or not have it. We're going to have it. But we just have to get it so it's cost competitive. It's not today. And I think we've got to change the system to do that. This bill does nothing for that. It just gives access. So we've got to change the system and change our mentality about health. And I think inevitably, employees are going to have to pay a significantly higher amount for their own health care. And by the way, I think most of the American people have to do that. We're going to have to make changes in how we fund Medicare. We can't continue on the direction we're on. But before we let you go, Bill, your take seems to be you're not thrilled with the decision. You're going to live with it. Exactly. We have to live with it. I want to get out of politics and start improving health care. We spent three and a half years in politics. We need to move on right now and make health care work because the health of Americans is getting worse while the costs go up. That's not true in Germany and Switzerland. Uh, Bill George, uh, thank you so much, Bill. Always thank good you. to talk to you. And again, that's probably a message we're going to hear from the president when he speaks.